Welcome back to another video in our Blackboard Ultra Crosswalk series for faculty. One subtle update in Ultra is the use of release conditions instead of adaptive release. The feature and the way you use it in Ultra is similar somewhat to original with only a name update and a somewhat more integrated feel. First, let's look at original course view. When we click the options menu, there are options for adaptive release and adaptive release advanced. When we click adaptive release, we can assign a date, membership, grade, and review status settings. For instance, when we wish to only display content after a certain date, or when we wish for content to only be seen once a particular attempt, assessment, or activity has been started or completed. Now, let's take a look at a course with the Ultra Course View. To access release conditions, click on the visibility drop-down menu of any course content item. We can also go inside folders and modules and click on the visibility drop-down of them as well and click release conditions. This will open up a panel on the right side of the interface. We can select members, choose which course members and groups will have access to the content. Then we can also set additional conditions such as date and time or performance. I'll choose date and choose show on and then we can also choose performance and choose a graded item in the course. In this case I'll choose the CEQ or course entry quiz and then we can choose the grade requirement to be met to release this content, the lesson one content to the student. Once we're done setting up the release conditions we can go ahead and click save. And now lesson one will only release if the conditions set up in the release conditions for in this case, date, time, and performance have been met. As always, if you have any questions about any of this information, feel free to reach out to the ELS ID team. And we hope you enjoy the rest of the videos in the Blackboard Ultra Crosswalk series for faculty.